Hey everyone, this is your favorite math teacher again with part two of our lesson for this this week, right? So today we're looking at adding integers with a common sign. To add the integers with the same sign, add the absolute values of the integers and use the sign of the integers for the sum, okay? So in the example that they have here for us, we have negative seven plus negative six. Okay, both of the numbers have the same sign, right? Both are negative. So step one, we want to find the absolute values, right? Absolute value means the distance from zero, okay? So for this one, negative seven, the absolute value of negative seven is positive seven, okay? And for the absolute value of negative six, it would be positive six, right? Absolute values are always going to be positive unless the number is zero. Then in that case, it's just zero, okay? But it's always the distance from zero, okay? So let's move on to the se second step here. Find the sum of the absolute values, okay? So now we have seven plus six, right? Because that's what we got for absolute values positive seven plus positive six, and that equals positive 13, right? So simple enough, now we have our positive answer. Now step three, we're gonna use the sign of these integers to write the sum, okay? So the original signs were negative seven plus negative six equals negative 13. The sign of each of those uh, integers are negative. Okay, and it's just as I explained in our previous video, right? When you're adding or combining two numbers, if they have the same sign, you add them and keep the sign. In this case, it was a negative seven and a negative six. We add them because they have the same sign, which is 13, and we keep the sign and make it negative 13. Okay. And we'll do a couple problems here after this on the digital whiteboard. All right, so let's look at the second example here. So in this case, we have negative 25 plus negative 10, right? So what do you notice about the two numbers here? They're both negative, right? So we have a negative 25, negative 10. We're combining them together. They're both the same sign, right? And let's do what we did last time. Let's go ahead and get the absolute values of these numbers. So I have negative 25 and absolute value of negative 10, right? So the absolute value of negative 25 is just 25, right? Positive 25. And for negative 10, the absolute value would be positive 10. And again, remember, this is because the negative 25 is 25 units from zero, and the negative 10 is 10 units from zero, right? So from here, we just take our two numbers and we add them together, right? 25 plus 10 gives us 35, okay? Now, is that the answer? No, of course not. We had a negative 25 and a negative 10. Right here, we have positive numbers. So, like we did in the last time, we got to rewrite it as, they, as it was, right? So, we have our negative 25 plus negative 10, and it's going to be negative 35, right? So, again, like I said on the last problem, when they have the same sign, Add them together when you're combining, add them together and keep the sign. Both were negative, so we get more negative by adding them together, 25 plus 10, and it's negative 35. All right, so moving on to this next example, we have 32 plus 11. Both numbers are positive in this one, right? No negative signs around, both are positive. So just like we did on the previous problem, let's look at our absolute values, OK? 
Okay, so let's get the absolute value of 32. 30, 32 would be obviously 32 units away from zero. Okay, that's the distance from zero. For our absolute value of 11, same thing. This is going to be 11 units from zero, so it stays positive. Remember, absolute values are always positive. When you have a positive number, the absolute value of a positive number, it just stays the same. All right. Now, in this case, we want to add them together, right? We're going to do what it's telling us to do, 32 plus 11. So when we add 32 plus 11, we end up with 43, right? Positive 43. For our step three, we don't really have to rewrite it again because it was already positive, right? Just like I was talking about with our signs or the rules for our signs on the previous two problems, when they are the same sign and you're combining them, meaning you're adding them together, if they're the same sign, you add the numbers and keep the sign. We had 32 and 11. Both were positive. We add it together. And since both were positive, the answer is positive, giving us a positive 43.